there are many famous people who served in the United States military. Some were drafted, some had the choice between jail or service, and some felt the call and volunteered. From World War II to 9-11 and beyond, these celebrities served their country before they became famous. Except for Elvis. Elvis was always a star. In no particular order, these are 10 celebrities who served in the United States Armed Forces. Number 10, Chris Christopherson, United States Army. Before he was a recording artist, Chris Christopherson, under pressure from his family and following in the footsteps of his Air Force General father before him, joined the United States Army. Christopherson trained as a ranger and a helicopter pilot, eventually reaching the rank of captain while stationed in Germany, but then he received orders to West Point to teach English. He chose to separate from the Army to pursue a music career instead, but served in the Tennessee National Guard when he needed to make ends meet. It was during that time when he infamously stole a helicopter and landed it on Johnny Cash's lawn, a bold move that would pay off when Cash, a fellow veteran, recorded Christopherson's song and began an epic musical friendship. In 2003, he was presented with the Veteran of the Year Award at the 8th Annual American Veterans Awards. Number 9. Kurt Vonnegut, United States Army Kurt Vonnegut enlisted in the United States Army during World War II. In 1944, then-Private First Class Vonnegut was captured by the Nazis during the Battle of the Bulge. He, along with boxcars full of fellow POWs, were taken to the German city of Dresden and forced to work until the city was firebombed by the Allies. Vonnegut and a few others survived the devastation in what looked like a different, horrifying new world. Slaughterhouse-Five is named after the underground bunker in which he waited out the bombing. The book is the story of a man who became unstuck in time, floating back to the past at seemingly random moments. It has become one of the most famous PTSD flashback stories and one of the most banned books of all time. Number eight, Jimi Hendrix, United States Army. Jimi Hendrix, one of rock's greatest guitar players, served a brief 13-month stint with the famed U.S. Army's 101st Airborne Division, nicknamed the Screaming Eagles, just a few years before his epic rise to rock stardom in the late 60s. Hendrix wanted to enlist as a musician, but had no formal music training, so he opted for the 101st Airborne Division instead. Months after joining the Screaming Eagles, life as a paratrooper began to wear on Hendrix's morale. He was constantly reprimanded for dereliction of duties, Jimmy just wanted to play his guitar. His days as a paratrooper came to an end on his 26th jump when he broke his ankle. Hendrix began exploring the Fort Campbell area nightlife before venturing down to nearby Nashville where he began jamming with local bluesmen. It was in that vibrant music scene where he met fellow service member and bassist Billy Cox. In September 1963, after Cox was discharged from the army, Hendrix and Cox formed a band called the King Casuals but it was later in New York City where Hendrix would catch a break that would help him become the rock star he's remembered as today. Number seven, Elvis Presley, United States Army. After one deferment to complete the film King Creole, Elvis Aaron Presley reported for U.S. Army basic training at Fort Hood on March 24, 1958, where he was assigned to the 2nd Armored Division's Hell on Wheels unit. His induction was a major event that attracted fans and media attention. After basic, Presley sailed to Europe aboard the USS General Randall to serve with the 3rd Armored Division in Friedberg, Germany. By March 1960, Sergeant Presley finished his military commitment and received an honorable discharge from active duty. Reflecting on his service, Presley once told Armed Forces Radio and Television that he was determined to go to any limits to prove himself. And he did, though his career as an artist was never too far from reach. Shortly after returning to the United States, he shot the film G.I. Blues, a musical comedy where Presley played a tank crewman with a singing career. Number six, Montel Williams, United States Marine Corps and United States Navy. Talk show host Montel Williams enlisted in the United States Marines after high school and completed basic training at Paris Island, South Carolina before going to the Desert Warfare Training Center at 29 Palms, California. There, he impressed his superiors with his leadership skills and was recommended for the Naval Academy Preparatory School at Newport, Rhode Island. He was then accepted into the U.S. Naval Academy at Annapolis. Upon graduation, he became a cryptologic officer for the United States Navy. He served in Guam before transferring to the Defense Language Institute in Monterey, California, where he studied Russian for a year before putting his linguistic skills to use for the National Security Agency. 
He served aboard submarines for three years before he decided to separate from the military and pursue public and motivational speaking full time. Number five, Adam Driver, United States Marine Corps. Adam Driver, perhaps best known for his portrayal of Kylo Ren in the Star Wars franchise, enlisted in the United States Marine Corps and became an infantry mortarman after the 9-11 attacks. He was stationed at Camp Pendleton with 81's Platoon Weapons Company, 1st Battalion, 1st Marines, and was training for his first deployment when he sustained an injury that would result in a medical discharge. After his service, Driver founded a nonprofit organization called Arts in the Armed Forces, which brings high quality arts programming to active duty service members, veterans, military support staff, and their families around the world free of charge, with the intention of bridging the divide between civilians and the military. Of his military career, Driver once said, quote, In the military, you learn the essence of people. You see so many examples of self service and moral courage. In the rest of life, you don't get that many opportunities to be sure of your friends." End quote. Number four, Bob Ross, United States Air Force. Robert Norman Ross, better known as the friendly painter Bob Ross, enlisted in the Air Force at age 18, and he would go on to serve for 20 years. While stationed in Alaska, Florida native Ross saw snow and mountains for the first time, which would influence his serene landscape choices as he began his prolific painting career. It might be surprising to know that while in the Air Force, Ross became a drill instructor. Quote, I was the guy who makes you scrub the latrine, the guy who makes you make your bed, the guy who screams at you for being late to work. The job requires you to be a mean, tough person, and I was fed up with it. I promised myself that if I ever got away from it, I wasn't going to be that way anymore. End quote. True to his word, he developed The Joy of Painting, his famous program where he taught others to paint with the uplifting and soft-spoken demeanor that has become famous around the world. Number three, B. Arthur, United States Marine Corps. The late B. Arthur served as a truck driver in the U.S. Marine Corps. She enlisted into the women's reservists during World War II at the age of 21 under her maiden name, Bernice Frankel. A handwritten letter of hers states, quote, I was supposed to start work yesterday, but heard last week that enlistments for women in the Marines were open, so decided the only thing to do was join." End quote. She was stationed at U.S. Marine Corps Air Station Cherry Point, North Carolina. She was honorably discharged after the war at the rank of Staff Sergeant, and she would marry a fellow Marine, Private Robert Arthur, and go on to have a successful career in the arts. Any fan of Arthur's incisive Dorothy on Golden Girls will not be surprised to hear that Arthur's enlistment interviewer described her as argumentative and officious, but probably a good worker, if she has her own way. Number two, Jackie Robinson, United States Army. Jackie Robinson was drafted to the United States Army in 1942, where he was assigned to a segregated Army Cavalry unit before applying to Officer Candidate School. His application was delayed due to the color of his skin, but after protest by heavyweight boxing champion Joe Lewis, he was accepted. He commissioned as a second lieutenant in January 1943. In August 1944, he would face court-martial for refusing to give up his seat on a bus near Camp Hood, Texas, a segregated location known for its racism. On July 6, 1944, Robinson took a seat on a civilian bus next to a white woman on Camp Hood and the driver ordered him to move to the back of the bus. Robinson refused, and the military police were called to arrest him. Angry from his treatment and frustrated at the rampant discrimination on the post, Robinson refused to wait for the MPs in the provost marshal's office and was escorted to the hospital under guard and under protest. He was charged with two accounts of insubordination. His defense would win out, however, and Robinson was freed. He medically retired from service due to a bone chip in his ankle and would go on to become the first African American to play in Major League Baseball. Number 1. Rob Riggle, United States Marine Corps. Rob Riggle served in the United States Marine Corps for over 20 years. After graduating from the University of Kansas, he went through officer candidate school. Though he originally had the intention of becoming a pilot, he realized that he wanted to pursue comedy, so he became a public affairs officer instead. After his active duty service commitment was complete, he transitioned into the reserves for 14 more years so he could pursue comedy and acting full time. Riggle served in Liberia, Kosovo, and Afghanistan during his time in service. 
Now retired, he continues to help the veteran community through initiatives like his Rob Riggle Invitational Golf Classic, a veteran celebrity golf tournament that raises money and awareness for veteran nonprofits like Semper Fi Fund, an organization that assists service members and their families. That's our list. Leave us a comment and let us know who your favorite celebrity veteran is.